Hey guys, Jimmy here, bringing you another update on the Liberty Walk R35. Now the bike's finished and done out the road. I was just sitting off camera. I actually had to build a case for it and the Perspex case. Now anyway, back to the R35. Got a clear coated today. Um, second time around. Uh, I don't know what happened to it the first time. Um, must have been something that particular paint I was using. Because uh, it's a Deco art uh, mother base paint. Uh, I think some of the pigments have loosened up once the lacquer hit it, mainly on the, the back spoiler there. It's a, it looks like a different shade, but it's actually from the same pad. So the black works done, um, clear, clear coats on it. Say, so, other than that, I'm just not too happy with the, the back spoiler. It's got two coats. I've uh, done the first coat as I say, wasn't wasn't the best. I flattened it down with a thousand and dried her all off and then hit her again and she's come out dead on except that spoiler. And a wee touch around her just above the, the front bumper. Just here. Let me see if I can get a pointer. Just here. It looks if it's, the pigments have broke up in the paint as well. Depends on what angle you're looking at. Um, so, I'll leave that to one side, and if need be, I'll give it a wee polish. But from what I can see here, it doesn't seem too bad. So, I'm happy enough with that. So, we'll leave it there to one side. Um, the interior is done all except the dashboard. So, I flapped the, t the, the floor and the seats, and then two toned it with a Rebel colour, not too sure what colour it is offhand, I can't remember what number it is. It was in two minds of what colour to do brake calibers, um, so I've done them in the yellow because uh, there's a red transfer goes on to them. Uh, if you'd have done them in red, you wouldn't have seen it. So I've done them in the yellow and I'll get them on tomorrow at some stage. The wheels are done, they came pre painted and all, so did the, the gloss black, but the inserts weren't. They just came more neat black, but what I did do is hit them with um, gun metal and then highlighted the, the nuts with the Molotov pen and then give it a coat of clear. So against, I don't think it's going to look too bad. I was thinking of doing them white against the black and then with the yellow behind the, the wheel itself, it would stood out more. But I, I, I stayed with the grey. Oh, sorry, like on metal. Door cards are done, so not really, but there's only a few details to be done to them. Mainly, so this here is we done chrome, um, a ring around the speakers we done chrome, and then we can get that into the tub here, as I said, just showed our second ago. Gear sticks in. Um, dashboard is done, except I can't go any further with it. So I say, um, until I put the LED in it, or SMD, I always say LEDs, SMDs. Um, I flocked the top of the, the speed over as well. Some cars have that, some of the sports cars would have it. Um, and then two tones of dice again. Tessels have to go on, steering column has to go on, and the steering wheel is a bit more detailed paint to be done in that. Then we'll, we'll hit it with a flat coat. This suspension, or sorry, say, yeah, suspension and the wheels are all in. Um, all the splice cards are on. There's not really much detail on either because it's hid with the splice cards anyhow. Um, then I, once I've done it with the, the, the black, I give it a matte coat. Um, front wheels are, are poseable. Um, there's, so, there's four tips to go on. Um, chrome tips to go on the exhaust, so they'll go on kind of way last once I get this into the frame. Um, the SMDs that I showed there last week, the wee filaments. Um, I'm going to put one on either side and one at the one at the back and one at the front here to imitate the neon lights that's in some of the cars you've seen in the early 2000s and, uh, and what have you. So I don't know what colour I'm going to do it just yet, LED ways. Um, what I did do is um, I'm not too happy with this bonnet the way it came out, it came out of grainy. I used this stuff here, take a word, drew Drew clear gloss varnish. It's a bit thick on it. Um, I did try watering it down, but it dispersed more of the clear 
and just looked as if it was sitting top of oil. So washed it off and done it again and it's still not the best. So it's not as you can see it looks like a, a metallic black but it's just a straight black. Um I did spread through the needle on uh, the four four uh, four mil needle and uh Horner and Steinbeck Airbrush I got there last week. So if anybody's used this in the past, can they let me know if there's any good results in it rather than messing about with it and making a mess of things. Uh, there's matte in it as well. I haven't tried them out. I might just going to be something similar to a gloss. Right guys, short update. Um, slowly but surely we're taking shape in this one. Um, up next. Once that clear coat all dries is the dazzles. Um, we get it all on and then I'll probably clear coat it again, I don't know. I'll see how well these lay down. So overall I'm happy enough for it. Um, no major bits of dirt in it, what I can see. Other than that spoiler, I'm not too happy with the spoiler. So it's very, uh, I don't know, greeny, it's hard to explain. So it is. But there's the finish that came out 100%. Right, um, we're over here. The bonnet, when it does dry, I go on to it. I might have to do this bonnet again because it's terrible. Right guys, I'm going to start rambling again, so thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all later. Bye.